How you doing? Troy Morgan here, CEO of Pantech Design, the creators of Adapt. I'm here in the Sonnen booth. As you can see, we're here. We're, we're showing off some Eaton Smart Breakers. We're also showing off the Sonnen technology, and we've written some amazing technology along with theirs to make the first energy automation system happen. Come over here with me, and I'll show you what this looks like. So we're going to simulate a few things here, but this is not a simulation. This is actually real. There's no smoke and mirrors here. We're going to show you how smart battery technology can help support the custom integration industry. So say we've got a weather event that happened. We may need to have our battery back up, charge up as quickly as possible in the home. So I'm going to simulate a weather event, and we're actually polling for this weather data so that we can configure the battery backup to occur. So we've got inclement weather. I want the house to go ahead and take care of some things for me. So I've gone ahead and I've said yes to that. What that's doing for us is it's lowering our lights. It dropped our shades, but more importantly, it just told the sun and battery to make sure that, that its backup buffer has gone to 100%. Now, why is that important? We want to make sure that we're charging the battery to a full 100% because we don't know if we're going to have a power outage or not during this event. We've got bad weather in the area, we've prepared the home, and we're raising that backup buffer so we can charge the battery fully. Now, let's go ahead and uh, simulate a true power outage in the home. One of the things you're going to see happen here is the sun and battery technology and the automatic transfer switch with 100 milliseconds or less is going to allow the technology to be maintained, the internet, the Crestron processor, all of the stuff is, is just going to work. All right, so I'll go ahead and simulate this for us. Now, one of the greatest things about this is there's a 100 millisecond ATS built into the sun and battery. This allows that technology to stay alive during the process. So now I'm given some choices. You see here that I've got my washer, my dryer, my water heater, and my refrigerator. I don't know how long this power outage is going to last. So I'm kind of feeling like maybe I want to keep this refrigerator on for as long as I can. But I'm not going to be doing any laundry and I'm definitely not going to be doing any uh, showering or, you know, dishes or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to power only my essential devices. Now through the Eaton Intelligent Breakers, we're going to actually shut these things down. You're also going to notice that our music is off, our lighting is off, and our Eaton Intelligent Breakers have just been controlled by the ADAPT software and told to shut down. If we come and take a look here, you're going to see that we're off grid. We are definitely not consuming anything. We're discharging our battery at 130 watts because that's what the house is actually using to power the refrigerator. But it might be that we end up learning that this power outage is not going to be that long. It's actually only going to last a few hours. Currently, right now, I can go 150 hours <laughs> just because I've only got this one device uh, on. But I want comfort, and that's what we do for our clients. We build lifestyles and we create comfort, right? So I'm going to give the client the ability to make the choice on their own because it's only going to be a few hours. So we're going to go ahead and add lighting back to the home. We're going to go, go ahead and keep the uh, refrigerator on, and we're also going to make sure that this stays off. So now I can live comfortably. I've got my lighting on. Everything's just fine. I can, I can hang out, and the beauty is this is going to last for 57 hours. So I started at 150 hours. I said, give me some lights, and now I've got 57 hours left. So let's go ahead and see what happens when the power returns. Upon return of the power, this will happen in about 10 seconds or less. We can actually bring the home right back to where it belongs. Our music, even if we want to come back, we can actually return the home back to its state before the power outage occurred. But there's an interesting thing that you're going to see here. Although the grid's connected, we're actually not taking power from the grid just yet. Now, this is some UL and IEEE stuff that we have to pay attention to so that we can make sure that the grid is stable, we can make sure that everything is in good shape before we actually accept power back from the grid. This lasts about five minutes. 
So we're going to stay powering all the devices from the battery until the grid comes back. My name is Troy Morgan, President and CEO of Pantech Design, the creators of ADAPT. You can learn more about this and other technologies that we've built at www.adaptcrestron.com. Thank you very much.